Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In today's screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use Perfect Assistant to make server-side Swift development with Perfect even easier. Perfect Assistant is a free web app developed by Perfectly Soft that automates common development tasks with Perfect. It helps you easily set up new projects based on templates. It helps you bring in different Perfect packages and dependencies into your project. It helps you build and run your project on Linux, and it even helps you deploy your project to Amazon EC2 or Google Cloud. In this screencast, we're going to focus specifically on using Perfect Assistant to create and configure your projects and also to build and run on Linux. We'll save deployment for a future screencast as that's a bigger topic. This screencast has been sponsored by Perfectly Soft. Thanks to them for sponsoring. Let's dive right in. The first step is to download Perfect Assistant, which you can do at perfect.org slash en slash assistant. Just open the DMG and drag it into your applications folder. Then open Perfect Assistant. You might get a security warning. If you do, go to System Preferences, Security, and Privacy, unlock it, and click Open Anyway, and click Accept at the prompts. Then you'll see this welcome screen with options to create various kinds of projects or to set up web deployments. Let's start by seeing how you can use Perfect Assistant to work with perfect projects. If you click Create New Project, you'll see a bunch of templates appear in this top area. This first one, Perfect Template App, is basically a Hello Perfect project. It imports Perfect and adds a single test route in there for you. Empty Executable Project is great if you want to start from scratch with the command line app. It's the equivalent of calling Swift Package Init dash dash type executable on the command line. Similarly, Empty Library Project is great if you want to create a reusable library of code. In other words, a package that is used within your Swift project. It's the equivalent of Swift package init. Custom repository URL allows you to enter a repository URL. For example, the URL of a repository on GitHub and it automatically pulls it down for you. This is handy if you want to try out an example you found online quickly. Perfect template app engine is a modified version of the hello perfect template for use with Google app engine. Below this, you'll see that you can try out several example projects provided by perfect. I found reviewing these projects is a great way to learn about Perfect or to get a quick start on doing something specific. I encourage you to pull down these and play around with them. To demonstrate some features of Perfect Assistant, let's choose Empty Executable Project and click Next. I'll choose a folder for this project and note I have to click New Folder and create a subdirectory with the name I want for this project. Let's call it hello-perfect-assistant and then click Open. Based on your folder name, Perfect Assistant will automatically suggest a project name to match, but feel free to change it. There's also a checkbox to integrate Linux builds with your Xcode projects. This is a really handy feature of Perfect Assistant because it allows you to quickly make sure that your perfect projects will compile on both macOS and Linux during development, instead of finding this out at a later stage. For now, I'll just leave this unchecked. We'll enable it later in the screencast. I'll click Save, and Vapor will create a project based on the MD Executable project template I selected and auto-generate an Xcode project for it. I now see a new screen with a bunch of things I can do on this newly created project. Over on the left-hand side, there are some handy utilities. The first one opens the project directory in Finder. The second one opens a terminal to the project directory, and the third one opens the Xcode project. The second section contains some options to build, deploy, and clean your project. The first one lets me build locally on macOS, that is. It's really handy if you don't want to build it from Xcode for whatever reason. The second one builds it on Linux. Now for this one to work, you need to have Docker installed on your machine. I'll show you how to do this later. The third option deploys your project to Amazon EC2 on, or Google Cloud. Again, I'll show you how that one works later. And the fourth option cleans your project directory. The third section contains some options to quickly run your project and test either on Linux or locally. For example, if I click the Run Local EXE button, it opens a new terminal and runs my project, and I can see Hello World printed on the screen. The fourth section lets you regenerate your Xcode project. When doing server-side Swift development, I never add files directly to the Xcode project within Xcode itself. Instead, I like to add them with Terminal or Finder and regenerate the Xcode project. So this is something I use often. The Integrate button sets up your Xcode project to automatically trigger a Linux build upon every build of your project. The fifth and final section allows you to delete this project from the list of projects and Perfect Assistant. Don't worry, it won't delete the project itself. 
It'll just remove it from the list on the sidebar in Perfect Assistant and delete any metadata that Perfect Assistant made for you for your project, such as Docker images. Over on the right-hand side, you can easily add dependencies on various Perfect packages that are available. This saves you from having to edit package.swift all the time. To show you how this works, I'll drag HTTP server from the bottom up to the top. I can specify an exact version to use if I want, but I'll leave it as the default of 2.x.x. I'll make sure automatically integrate Xcode when regenerating project is unchecked because I don't want my compile time to be longer right now. I'll just build Linux manually when I want. Then I'll click Save Changes, which will cause Perfect to automatically pull down the packages and regenerate the Xcode project. Next, I'll click Open Xcode Project and add some test code to verify that this works. I'll then switch to the second target, build and run, and navigate to localhost at port 8080. It works. At this point, Perfect Assistant has already saved us some time because we didn't have to generate the executable or the Xcode project from the command line or manually edit package.swift. But one of the biggest benefits of Perfect Assistant is its ability to build your project on Linux right from your local machine. Let's try that out next. In the welcome pane of Perfect Assistant, if you don't have Docker installed, you'll see a button that says Install Docker Now. Just click that button, it will begin to install Docker. Once it finishes, drag it into your Applications folder and open Docker. Now, I've already done this, so it shows up as installed here. Back in my Hello Perfect Assistant project, I can now click Build Linux to see if it compiles OK on Linux. It's actually pretty cool what happens behind the scenes. It uses Docker to set up a new Ubuntu Linux image, it installs Swift 3 and other perfect dependencies on the Linux image. It transfers your source code over. It builds the binaries and transfers the resulting binaries back to your local machine. So after it does all this and the compiler is complete, I see a success message. And nice, this proves that my web app can now build on macOS and Linux. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to use Perfect Assistant to make working with your perfect projects even easier. In the next screencast, I'll show you how you can use Perfect Assistant to easily deploy your perfect projects to Amazon EC2. You know, all of this talk about assistance reminds me of this time where this office assistant was throwing darts at a picture of her boss. Then her boss called her on the phone and said, hey, what are you doing? And the office assistant said, missing you. All right, I'm out.